it's what day is it? Today it is December first, which means it is Christmas time. Yay! Christmas time. And time. lots of other holidays that we love. Yes, Hanukkah, <laughs> Kwanzaa, oh, Boxing Day, Winter oh, Solstice, Winter, Winter Solstice. Solstice. Yeah. Yes. Um, but what else is happening today? Damien. I'm playing Damien. Regina. And T Boy is just playing. Janice. And Devin Hatzel is playing Karen. And the funny thing is, is that me, Devin, T, and Ashley, we all play Gretchen. We're going to be on stage together! All the Gretchen covers that are... That is so funny! That's yeah. insane! We're on stage for the first time, I think. Um, guys, We're all understanding what's, what's the Ashley? favorite holiday present you've ever received? Or can you remember when you thought you saw a true Christmas miracle? These are hard questions. I know, I'm like, Take shit. Take it away, D. I don't know. Um... It wasn't necessarily at Christmas, but it was a Christmas present. Well, I got a scholarship for a theater workshop <gasps> in New York <gasps> that I wasn't going to be able to go to because I couldn't afford it. That's amazing. I know. And like, we got the scholarship and I literally was like, oh, I'm going to New York. And look at yeah. him now. Aww. Broadway and baby. I, and That's I, like fun fact, I actually taught at that theater workshop this summer. <gasps> I was like on the faculty. Oh my God. That's such a full circle beautiful story. And yeah. I came and saw the show. It was like a whole thing. <laughs> I mean, what do you have to top that? Okay. Bye. So this is like a true fan I'm a really moment. Big fan. Shout out to <laughs> Alia Hot. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Shout out to the vlog, the vlog watchers. Mm -hmm. Um, pardon my menagerie of plants in here. We made Truly. this today with private botanists. Um, guys, it's December what? First. Like Which means it is what season? <laughs> It's the holiday season. So, whoop de doo and diggity dock, and don't forget to hang up your sock. Because just exactly at 12 o'clock, you'll be coming down the chimney now. Terrifying, terrifying. T, what is the favorite Christmas gift or holiday? I'm sorry, do you celebrate Christmas? Yeah. What's your favorite gift you've ever received? Um,. Uh, when I got engaged, uh, my fiance saved the beer can and made it into an ornament that we drank as like a celebratory <gasps> engaged. And he saved it and he made it into an ornament for me. Oh, Dave! Dave! Uh, Shout out to Dave, y'all! What a Dave's thoughtful the man! Best. What's the favorite gift you've given? Diana, oh. <gasps> and we get together and we exchange gifts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, well, my mom collects children's Christmas books, <gasps> and we always. Pick a couple, and on Christmas Eve we go around, and everyone reads a page. And it's really fun. And recently we've been starting to add different accents and dialects. Oh my gosh! Them, and it is hysterical. <gasps> and it's so fun. And what was last year's? What do you remember the title of last year's book? Um. Oh, what was it? Or the plot? I can't remember. It was about a ginger bear baby on the run. On the run, and folks! Amazing. He's on the run! The ginger bear baby's Very on the bus. Oh, that's a really cute tradition. I like that. Fun. Carlito. Do you have any holiday traditions? What does Mia get every year for Mia what's her gifts? Presents to rip up. <laughs> um, my family though, we always you get to pick one present to unwrap on Christmas Eve. Yeah. Yes. Which is Do you exciting. choose the biggest one or the smallest one? I think I I usually chose small. Small. I like yeah. surprises, so I wanted like the big oh, stuff to come on Christmas Day. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I hope Mia was a good girl this year. Girl. I hope she was a good girl this year. <laughs> Jonathan, do have I asked you your <laughs> holiday traditions? No. <gasps> what does your family do? Or you yourself? Um, me myself, well, my family always bakes sugar cookies and has a big Christmas party <gasps> that ends with everybody singing show tunes around the piano. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, and for me, you, I, I usually spend Christmas with my friend's family. Uh -huh. So I either get, I get my mom to make them a Norwegian oh almond cake that she <gasps> sends from California. But this year, I think I'm going to try to make Oh my gosh, can I have myself. a bite? That sounds so good. If I can make it, it's really hard, but I'm going to try this year. Maybe oh my I'll gosh, I'm so excited. <gasps> Norwegian almond cake. <laughs> You're definitely Norwegian. Are you Swedish, Lauren? Oh, yeah. This so is worse. Bring back Erica. <laughs> Erica! <laughs> Go ahead. We do Christmas Who's on for Katie? Aww. Um, and that's always fun. And then we sing Happy Birthday, Baby Jesus to a little cake. <gasps> oh my god. I do Christmas season. jammies too. Yeah, and my like dad makes lasagna. You're gonna like this one. Do you like how I put myself back in there? Oh, <laughs> anyway, so, so go ahead. What? what? Tell me. We make 
holiday, tamale. tamale. You make tamale? Yes. This is in no way making fun of the list that Spanish people do. <laughs> That's how Ishil talks. I know. All right, Cheech, what's your favorite holiday? Shut up, please. Please leave me alone. I yelled at Erica so much about this vlog. All right, fine, I'll move on. You're no fun. You're the Grinch. Hello, Miles. Hello. What's your favorite holiday tradition? I watch all the Tim Burton movies featuring snow. There are a lot of them, and drink a lot of wine. Oh my God! I love that. Nine Batman Returns. How about you, Nikhil? Uh, That's my family's a big cooking family. We make these things called lomos, which are like Nepalese dumplings. Ooh. And we have like an assembly line, and everyone has little things. And can I be your Christmas dumpling? Ew. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Your dumpling. <laughs> if I was your dumpling, I'd never let you go. I go oh, like, yeah! And that's Magiana's Super Short Show. Oh! I was on her! Magiana, what's your favorite holiday tradition? Oh my god. First of all, I'm obsessed with Christmas. <laughs> oh, what? Well, no, I don't want to sing yet, but I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Okay, Becca, what's no, your... No, come back to me I right actually now. already... Come back to me. Oh, oh. Thank you. Becca, oh, is my favorite Christmas... I already gave second, my, my favorite, my favorite Christmas um, holiday tradition is that <laughs> I listen to the Nutcracker every year with my mother on decorate the tree, and I spend Christmas Eve with my mother's side of the family, a.k.a. all of her gay best friends, who are my aunts. It's gonna take till next year for her to finish. So if you wanna don't listen to her. Oh. <laughs> ho ho ho! So we make them there. I almost did. What? Okay, seven, eight, two, go, 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 Oh, they've seen me. What's my favorite holiday tradition? Yeah. Um, favorite holiday tradition? You know, I love just making cookies, listening to uh, Michael Buble on my vinyl, um, and then uh, just, you know, lounging by my fake Christmas tree. Cool, cool, cool. New York City living, you know. <laughs> Boys, do you have any holiday traditions? I was talking already told you. You already told me. Kevin, do you have any holiday traditions? Um, holiday traditions... Um, I did go to the Christmas market. Okay, is she, she asking you? Uh, damn, this is so rude. It's okay. Um, so. <laughs> well, <laughs> Dean is one of his traditions. <laughs> it's really as if the camera follows me, I swear. It's so weird. Let, <laughs> everyone let not take my camera time. Be. Are we family? Oh my god! <laughs> wow, Kevin. he's testing me because I went to the Kevin, what's your tradition? <laughs> my family and me, we all cook dinner together. Speak. And then we eat it, and then we all pass out on the couch and watch a movie. Oh, cute. That is cute. So Kevin's butt hurt because I was peeing with the door open, so... Okay, we, we have to... Too much information. We have to cut, cut this. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, everybody, so sometimes when we're not feeling in our tip-top shape and we've got lots of mucus and snot and all that gross stuff, we go out the back entrance because we don't want to get people out there sick. We don't want to get ourselves more sick. Um, so we're going out the back entrance right now. Let me show you how glamorous Broadway is. Woohoo! Woohoo! Um, you know, it's good to have an option. So you can, at the end of the day, get home to your jammies and your emergency and your Zycam and all the weird stuff you take to get better. Um, real talk moment. A lot of people have asked, how do you stay healthy? How do you stay well? How do you do eight shows a week? And there are a lot of different things I do, but I want to talk about the importance of having your B show. And your B show, it's not that you're giving your best show, but the best you can do changes day to day for a variety of reasons. Your health, your mental state, what's going on in your home life. So being able to take whatever you've got, good night! Being able to take whatever you've got on any given day and translating that into the best performance you can give. And it may not sound as great as it did the night before, it may not look as great as it will four days later, but Having that show in your pocket that is still present, active, but maybe goes easy on yourself as you are trying to get well. Um, I can share a lot of other tidbits about what I do to stay healthy that involve steam and exercise and the food I eat, but 
at the end of the day, we're human beings. You're not going to feel well 100% of the time. And our job is to figure out how to do a show even when we don't have 100%. Isn't that right, Brendan Stimson? What are we talking about in this? This was the this way. was the real talk that people wanted me to answer. They asked because I'm going out the back door because I'm not feeling so hot. Right. And a lot of people say, "How do you do eight shows a week? How do you stay healthy?" I'm like, the trick is not doing eight shows a week at 100 percent. It's figuring out how to do your best show eight times a week when you're not at 100 percent. Finding your 100 percent for each show, I'd say. Exactly. There it is. It changes from day to day. My 100 tends to stay at 150. That's why I'm so sleepy. <laughs> Guys, he leaves it all on the floor for you. Every night, Brendan Simpson, out. <laughs> okay. Way under tempo. Okay, Five. wait, this is like the most ambitious thing to do in between shows. Five, <laughs> with an orange. Five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, and one, and a two, and three, and a four, and five, and a six, and seven. That's the first eight count. Oh my god. What, what do you do in between shows? <laughs> Chinese food and Where? a nap. And a nap, yeah. That's, Chinese food. Wait, these ladies don't quit. They don't stop. Um, no. Is there going to be a drop of this choreo? There is. We're filming on Tuesday. Nikhil is going to be filming it for <gasps> me. And uh, uh, who else is in it? Collins is Collins. in it as well. Oh my gosh, It'll so exciting. All right, Mean Girls fandom. Look forward to that. And also, Juice Generation Cold Warrior. <laughs> hey, Eric Regina George, Harry Smith, and Brad Sweeter. Same old, same old. And Kenny Harrow. <laughs> It's T Boyage. I am the standby for Katie, Gretchen, Janice, and the Adult Woman track. Erica gave me the camera to show you guys a quick tour of the treehouse where the swings and standbys hang out during the show and to answer some frequently asked questions. So let's go. So we are on the fifth floor of Mean Girls. The swings and standbys hang out in here. We've got Britt in here Hi currently, guys. Ashley. Hi the other standby sister, and Patrick, who is a vacation hey. swing. Um, so there are what, six of us in here? Seven. Seven? One, two, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine. Eight. Yeah, eight. What, eight? Okay, so there are eight of us in this little room. We just said seven, eight, nine. <laughs> eight, four. No, three, yeah, three four, five, five six, six, seven, eight. eight. You're right, eight. Yep. Seven, eight. So there's eight of us in this room. <laughs> That's we all have our little <laughs> station. Um, we have a TV that we watch the show on. Yeah. And yeah, that's about it. We got a nice couch that we take naps on, a little corner with a fridge. That's about it. All the wall art. All the wall art. So much good fan art from the fantastic fans. Yeah, so that's our little treehouse. It's really chill up here tonight. It's really chill. Sunday night on Broadway. <laughs> hey, Patrick. Hi. What you doing? I'm um, going over one of my tracks that I've been on for, but um, so I'm actually charting stuff. He's being yeah. super prepared and a charting super good swing. Schedule. Look at that. Let's see. So, Patrick, how many people have you been on for? Six out of the seven tracks that I cover. Oof! So, yeah. So, <clears throat> what's a tip for somebody that wants to swing on Broadway? What's your What's a tip? Oh. Um, so I think once you start, like, learning all of your tracks, kind of, like, bundling, like, what's similar, I found, now that I've gotten to track six, I'm like, oh, so-and-so is like so-and-so, so they do, like, this section, and it really helps to kind of, like, compartmentalize sections to remember which tracks do what. Nice. So, is this the first time you've swung? A long-running show, yeah. I've swung, like, dance shows before, but, um, or regional shows, but it's nice because it, it's a really great task, but then you know, you're like, oh, so in three weeks we're closing. Um, so it's a little different, like really keeping it up here. All and the time. he's magical and very <clears throat> talented. Thanks. All right, one it's quick fun. fun question What is your favorite Christmas movie? Santa Claus. Oh, with Tim <laughs> Allen? Oh, I love the that first movie. It's my favorite, but the third's kind of like. Is that the one with, um, What's uh, his name? Um, Jack Frost, Frost. right? Yes, ah. yes. It's fun, but I, I think there's just something magical about the first one. Oh. It's always good. So. Well, yeah. have a happy holiday, Patrick. Thanks. You too. Bye. Bye. You know I couldn't invite you. I have to act like I don't know you. What? This is your party. Oh my god. Oh, in Australian. This is, this is your party. You could have invited anyone, but you, you decided you could have changed the game, but you decided not to. You would hate this party. You would hate this party. <laughs> it's, to, it's totally random, this party, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. 
Danny's, I can't stop sticking with you. It's not my fault you're like in love with me or something. Oh, no, she did not. <laughs> See, that's a problem with you price seats. <laughs> I think everybody's in love with you, but everybody just hates you. Introducing the Australian cast of Mean Girls on Broadway. All right, we're ready. Let's take it from Plastic Centrance, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can hear a theme song, Kyle. Yeah, yeah but wait for Greg, please. Are you filming now? Yeah, I think it's Why good for people to see stuff? what goes into the making of Little Blue Couch. Well, oh every time Greg Mainly puts his pants on. We just did that. a show, guys. Is <laughs> it on? Are we starting? It's... It's starting now. It's the littlest, bluest couch you've ever seen. The littlest, bluest couch. It's like Grover and Cookie Monster combined. <laughs> That wow! Was, that was you, we needed. That's that was, you nailed that. Welcome to the special okay. holiday edition of Little We Little Are Couch. Back. And what makes this such a special holiday oh, version? Right, did you just make a pass at me? Oh. Oh. My girlfriend's here. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Simon. Jennifer Simon. Oh. You gave me one of those. Oh. I think Mignon is so it's very nice. Um, um, congrats on your beautiful relationship. Um, Wait, how long has it been? I think it's a love thing. It started just a couple hours ago. <gasps> Do you guys feel, I feel like the holidays is like yeah. a time for like love and like reaching yeah. out. Do you guys feel that or do you get like stress? Like, Oh, I think, I think love. Because doesn't yeah. it remind you of your childhood and yes. that always brings up warm fuzzy yeah. feelings. I find so that that's also the not hardest part. Not for everyone, part. I, 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 but I think for yeah. a lot of people. Yeah, I think the hardest part is not, it's not what it was like when we were kids. Sure. Because Christmas oh, was right. so magical, mm. and not that it's not anymore, but right. it just sort of loses a little bit of And we're not like where we grew up. Are yeah. you, where were you from? New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Yeah. So you're not, you're not in your hometown no, where you grew I, up where you were No, I have to say, I often envy those of our colleagues in the business who grew up in the tri-state area. Yeah, because yep. they go home. Because you're so, you're close enough to get home. Special for Patrick, oh. Sorry. Erica, and Terry. Don't worry about Patrick. it. Patrick! They'll wait, and they'll wait. Yeah. A lot of did, uh, people... Did somebody... Do, oh. I find, I find Christmas is like, Three days of warm and fuzzy, and like the entire rest of the month leading up to that is stressful for me. Yeah, it happens every year, and I try to, I try to not do it. I try and get it done December first, and it just never happens. It just yeah. feels like you have to gift and like get gifts, and that's not what it's about. That's why I like that we do Secret Santa. Cause like yeah. it's called yeah. hot elves. Hell, what do you have for Secret Santa? Hey, oh, don't hey. tell us! Don't tell us! No, ah. no, no! It's going to press after, so you after? can tell us. Yes, okay. unless but then, there's someone in this. But, but are we going to keep our? Keep your yap shut, baby. Oh yeah, mouth shut we'll on the little blue we'll couch. couch. Yeah. Mouth shut. Are we, Tell us now. Are we telling each other? Hi. Hi, Dan. Are we telling each other though now so it'll say it afterwards? Just, no? yeah, you're just going to tell us. Me? <laughs> yes. All right, but you have to be private. Yeah, okay, yeah, lean in, lean in, lean in okay. close. And especially you, Erica, but like, I, I have Taylor. <gasps> She's so happy. Is she? She loves it. I'm living, I like to do it not just every day, but every show. Wow, wait, you got your daughter. You, what you been be honest. Which okay. daughter do you have like a strong? Which like mother daughter connection? I'm kidding. This is our. I know. I know. I, I don't talk at this. Mrs. George is so different from so different. Miss Heron, and so it's like you know. But you might day the longest. So truly, but Erica's the hardest to work with. Oh, she's oh, a total gosh, monster. Total Erica's miserable. No. Here's a question. Yeah. Do you have any sneaky assumptions about how you might die? <gasps> okay. This I is where just, we get in. Guys, no, I just passed my my uh, my prediction and goal, so that's good. Hey, congrats! <gasps> no, when wow. I was in my late 20s, and forgive me for those people who did have this, because I don't get to be disrespectful, but I was convinced I was going to die of a horrible disease by 47. <gasps> 47 and, specifically? Yeah. Yeah. When did you, when and now I'm age 48, so what? You made oh, it. What? Also, she looks gorgeous. Her stuff was wrong. What's that? Your childhood self was wrong. I know. Someone told you that was going to happen? No, no she I thought, just that. thought that. Why, Why do you but think? So, because I'm an actress. I think it's very dramatic and relaxing. Yeah. Like, sure, I'm sure, going to sure. have some sort of like, consumption or something. I always yeah. think it's going to be traumatic. <laughs> <laughs> I need a fainting couch. I just think, You're yeah. going to die of scarlet fever, yeah. consumption, If you follow gout. Jennifer Samard on yeah. Instagram, you'll know what she's talking about. She likes the drama, the darkness. It's not right? the drama. I like the dark side. I like... I do like the dark side. Though. Yeah, not drama, sure. but dramatic. Favorite but Christmas but not the dark side. That's no. like um, there's like there's sometimes dark side is misconstrued for bad. But you yeah. like the things that are like in the no, no. Like Tim I, Burton. Well, I can tell you, you cannot have light without, without darkness. darkness. Exactly. So I like to point out that point of view. That's in, in your relationship, is gray is gray the light? No, yes. it's actually not what you would expect. <laughs> <laughs> <It's very dark>. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get behind closed doors, it changes. Um, I do have a question going off. Not to, you know, us Christmas no, is the, is the yeah. season of, that. Christmas is the season of birth, but also let's talk about this. Yep. Um, should we all pass? If you could choose how you are, um, 
I don't want to use the term disposed of, oh, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you have Where a preference? Remains. Yeah. I don't want to be buried in the ground. I think that's gross. But how you want to die, she's asking. Oh, I think... Right? Yeah, you, both. Either or. Oh, how do I want to die? Am either or. Oh, either or. Or, or I, how you'd like a, to be buried. I have a oh. fear of getting old. I think mm. getting old is scary. And also, I when seeing people in New York City that are old on the it's subway and stuff is really heartbreaking. Yeah. I'll so take care if of you. I do get old, I want to be somewhere beautiful and lovely in the middle of, like, you know, the country. Not, like, in a big, crazy city. Sure. Mm -hmm. What about you? I don't know if I have a preference on how I go. But you have a preference Looking forward for, to the surprise. For what but, happens. Um, for, like, how I want to be, what my remains to be done with. Like, I'm really hoping that most of me is still good enough to be donated to science. And you better start working on that. Yeah, we need to start taking body. care of your body. Can I have your, I have your eyes? <gasps> I'd like to. Wait! I want your left ear. <laughs> Uh, follow <laughs> at Kyle and uh, <laughs> <laughs> so sign up for my body parts if you want. I want your hair, Jen. <laughs>